Mortal Kombat 1 is dying and in this video we're gonna be talking about why Mortal Kombat is dying what Mortal Kombat needs to improve because I know everyone on social media is being completely negative but they're not really talking about ways Mortal Kombat can improve on I love this game with a passion I've been I started playing Mortal Kombat on Mortal Kombat X and I've been uploading YouTube videos since then Mortal Kombat has been the reason why I'm a youtuber to this day but there's certain things in this game but I'm like why do we not have it like why do other games have it and we don't so in this video we're gonna be talking about it and again if you're a big Mortal Kombat fan please watch this video leave a like so other Mortal Kombat people can talk about it and maybe NetherRealm can fix it because this is just not okay it feels like it's not done like this game does not feel like a $70 game it feels like a $35 game like <laughs> this is 2024 right games have developed and evolved in so many ways especially fighting games that i think last year was probably the best year for fighting games we got street fighter you know grand blue fantasy versus Ryzen's has been popping up you know guilty gear all those games when they came out has a online training mode but for some reason nether realm one of the biggest companies of all time literally last year was in top eight most sold games of 2023 doesn't have an online training mode grand blue fantasy rising a small company game has an online training mode street fighter 6 your biggest competition has an online training mode and more so i don't understand why we don't have an online training mode like this is really hurting the game imagine playing ranked right and someone defeated you let's say smoke and you want to learn a certain tech that they did on you you have to go all the way back go to practice oh well fuck go to practice right pick your character right that takes forever by the way pick your character go in the game learn that tag and then leave go to the main menu and then go back to rank like it's just why like why don't we have the the bare minimum it's just it's so sad combat x injustice 2 injustice 1 past nether realm games had a training mode on release so why do we not have it on Mortal Kombat 1, one of their newest games? Like, again, this is why I'm saying this game feels like it came out and it wasn't even ready to come out. Like, they didn't want to make money that bad that they released the half-finished game. Second thing I want to talk about is the customization in this game is horrible. And most of the shit that you want to get in this game is behind a paywall, which is... Uh, I just don't understand, right? In Injustice 1, in Injustice 2, in Mortal Kombat 11, the customization in those games were amazing. You were able to customize every single part of your character. But in this game, you can only customize one, right? And if you want to get a cool looking skin, where again, in those games, they came with the character, you they're behind a paywall. You literally have to go to the shop, buy a skin that you want. They're like... $20 and again this is a $70 game this is not like Fortnite this is not like Apex these are not this is not a free game if those games want to charge us for $20 okay cool like the game is free this is a $70 game and you're telling me I have to spend $20 for certain things in this game like it's just ridiculous they charge us for fatalities something that in Mortal Kombat 11 it was free friendship was free imagine they add friendship to this game they're probably gonna charge us for the whole cast $50 it's fucking ridiculous why is everything behind a paywall like I just don't understand this is a $70 game another thing that this game is suffering on is that it has no game modes it has nothing else it's really bare bone it only has rank casual king of the hill king of hill doesn't even work because the connection is really bad and again like mortal kombat x mortal kombat 11 injustice 2 they had king of the hill on release and they work perfectly fine king of the hill doesn't even work here i'm just we just need more game modes man like if you want a game mode idea how about we add 1v1s with no cameos because not everyone that plays mortal kombat 1 likes the cameos right everyone's used to just having 1v1s no assists 
So why not add a game mode with no cameos? Now, I'm not saying we need to have a rank system with it. I'm not saying we need to have like a pro league with it, but just add the game mode. I know this game was balanced around cameos, but the game mode doesn't have to be completely balanced. We just want to have fun and have other stuff to do. The only other thing you can do is play the campaign and do invasions mode. And invasions mode is fucking boring. Like people only go to invasions mode is to level up their characters and grind for the little gear that they can get. Like... We just need more game modes. Now, the biggest reason why most people are talking about it on social media and why this whole conversation even started is that the pro leagues or the pro tournaments are just not taken serious. Like, no one's entering. Mortal Kombat is not taking the pro league serious. Like, all the professional Mortal Kombat fans, they don't even play for tournaments because the prize pools are ass. Street Fighter 6, their competition on release, had a $2 million prize pool for their tournaments. And Mortal Kombat, it feels like they're not putting any money on a game where it sold more than Street Fighter 6, by the way. It sold more. They're not putting any money into the game. They only have four tournaments out right now. And I remember back in the day, Mortal Kombat X and Injustice 2, we were having like 13 to 16 tournaments going all at once. If you wanted to go out and play for these tournaments... And it's just like Mortal Kombat is not taking it serious. Like, they just don't care. And I'm just trying to understand why. Like, every other fighting game is doing it, and Mortal Kombat is not helping. Like, it's just it's just really frustrating because people are not watching these pro tournaments. People are just not interested on the game for some reason. And the gameplay is amazing. It's not the game. The gameplay is fantastic. Way better than Mortal Kombat 11, in my personal opinion. I feel like a lot of people will agree with me. This game just plays better, but just no one's playing it. No one's watching, and we just need to fix it. And honestly, the biggest reason and the last reason, I'm pretty sure that Mortal Kombat is not doing so great, it's just there's competition now. NetherRealm has always released their games, and fighting games was wasn't a thing back in the day. Like it was part of the big three of fighting games. Then you know it's Street Fighter, Tekken, Mortal Kombat. But we have just better fighting games coming out, right? We have Street Fighter Six, probably one of the best fighting games of all time. Grand Blue Fantasy versus Ryzen. You know we have Guilty Gear Strive that was kind of like carrying the fighting games before all these games came out. And in a couple of days, we're gonna be getting Tekken Eight. And I'm like, is Mortal Kombat going to be alive? Because they're suffering right now. A lot of people are stopped. They're, they're not playing the game. Everyone's watching Street Fighter. Everyone's excited for Tekken 8. Everyone's playing the free version of Grand Blue Fantasy. And I'm like, what about Mortal Kombat? The only thing that Mortal Kombat has right now is that the gameplay is just really good. Chameleon is a great addition. Adds a lot to the game. The, the, how fast paced that she makes the game is just feels incredible right the gameplay is good the dlcs is probably one of the best of all fighting games i don't care nether realm has always been known to add in great dlc characters you know we had spawn you know we had terminator we had all these great additions in this game we're gonna have you know we already have omni man we're gonna be getting homelander right we're gonna have getting peacemaker we're gonna be getting takeda one of the greatest you know new gen characters added into mortal kombat like the dlc characters are great it's just, there's competition now. And Mortal Kombat, you know, they it feels like they just want to release the game as soon as possible. And it's really just hurting them in the long run. You guys can tell me in the comment section down below what do you guys think about Mortal Kombat. What do you guys think they should fix? Again, they need new game modes. They need to probably release DLC characters a little bit faster. They need to, like, uh, you know, update um, cameos. You know, a great addition that they could do. Because a lot of people are just playing Serena and Kung Lao. What they could do is, you know, if you play rank, they could add like a rank system or a ban system where you can ban cameos. So ba basically, you get the option of banning maybe one or two, you know, cameos, and it basically forces the opponent to learn how to play three cameos with that certain character. Because right now in the pro leagues, everyone is just playing Kung Lao, everyone's just playing Serena. Like they're all using the same cameos, and there's a lot of cameos in this game. So why not just, you know, add something like just change stuff up but i don't know i'm hoping mortal kombat just steps up their game i hope they give us some new information finally give us the training mode fix things that need to be fixed but you guys can tell me in the comments what do you guys want mortal kombat to add and what do you guys think it needs so yeah honestly it's fucking ridiculous man holy shit i'm so i'm just so, I'm so mad bro